Howdy, 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 y'all. Welcome back and welcome to Four Destiny. We're in episode two. This is not good, not good at all of Graveyard Keeper. I forgot this cutscene was immediately. Who do you think you are? I'm the new Graveyard Keeper. Hooray, a Kipper. Wow, I've been here for long. How long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. Does that sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yurik, and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, uh, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard. He can only dream of what peaceful rest we're having. Who oh, am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox to the church. This is teaching you how to exhume bodies from the graveyard. So now we have an exhumation. But right now, we must go get all the glorious wheat and goodies down here before we do anything else. It is merchant day. Um, we could go talk to him about the garden, but that's not a big rush. So we'll probably wait. If we happen to get a body today to go turn into heretic, then we will talk to him. But if not, we'll just talk to him next week when he comes. There's some of the characters that I don't try and speed through because it's not really going to do much. Unless we actually have 12 beets, 12 cabbage, and 12 carrots to bring to him. It's, that's all it's going to do is tell you to, to bring that next. But these are free goodies. And free stuff is best stuff. And right down here we're going to have simple and tasty. Baked mushrooms and baked apples. And then I think we need beams to open these. Oh no, just planks, wedges, and iron parts. Easy peasy. This is going to be our wine cellar and a brewery where we're going to have zombies working, doing all that fun stuff for us. Let's throw you in there. You can go out here along with all that. Let's go up some water so we can get some bread going. We'll grab like three water. Just so we don't have to do it again right away. Let's go ahead and get some area cleared up so we can get some more stuff placed. Definitely need to go grab some iron because that's going to be getting that going soon as, or fast is like a super good plan. We'll be napping quite a bit in the beginnings. We're not going to have loads of food, but just to restore energy. Perfect. Okay, let's see. All we have, we have, yeah, we have nothing here. So, we need to build a furnace. We're going to need a lot more stone. And that is all we have. Oh, we could go ahead and do another trunk, which I am not against. But right now, I think I'm going to save the parts. Uh, let's go ahead and put you in two. Make sure I actually hit two. Dump those out, throw them in here, and oh, I need firewood. Well, we can use sticks. Let's do 20 sticks just to get us started. Can't cook anything without fire, so all 20 of those, and then... Oh, yeah, we have to... Silly me. Silly, silly me. We actually have to do something with it. Turn it into dough. Then we can cook it. Once we can afford, or once we open up honey, we'll be able to turn it into muffins. Okay, let's get these started and we're going to take a nap. I know, a nap already, but yes! Try oh, we can't have enough fire. That's okay, we can get some started. Good middle of the night! We have a body, so let's go ahead and get that finished. Came through while we were sleeping. Bodies do get dropped at the exact same time every day. Beamer did teach me that. We'll grab these shrooms and stuff, but not right now. So, let's go take care of you. We actually, can we unlock... We can unlock hard spares and soft spares. The blood and the fat is going to give you the ability to take away two red skulls. So, let's go ahead and unlock that. We're going to need a skull for the astrologer. So let's go ahead and unlock that too. 
So let's do the blood. This is not a good body, but right now we need money. And we can always exhume them later. Let's do the fat. And we'll go ahead and do the skull, just so that we don't forget. Probably go ahead and take the flesh, too. And like I said, we can exhume it later. It's not too big of a deal. We do want to get our graveyard up, though. I mean, that's a three. It's not awful. It's definitely not horrible. Could be worse. So let's get you put down. And we're going to work on getting the points to open up better grapes the workbenches and such, which we'll get just by passively doing things. Perfect. Anything? Actually, you know what? Yes, let's leave you, you, and that's it. Because the skull is going to go with us so that we can put it in the chest below the house so we remember to bring it to the astrologer on the next day. On the next morrow. The next moon day. Go ahead and use up our energy, and then we're going to go see Heretic. Actually, I do want to get this on. A couple other seeds planted. So after we get these going, the... Oh, I put them up there, didn't I? I forgot. There's no trunk down here. I'm so used to having a trunk down here. Uh, so we need that. Four of those. That and that. Perfect. Let's plant you there. This is just going to give us food. Because soon we're going to have to be feeding the refugee camp too. And that's going to be rough because we don't have a lot of food right now. So the faster we can get our garden up and going, the faster we can at least have some sort of food for people and ourselves to keep our energy up. So we don't have to constantly take a sleepy town time. And let's go ahead and finish this one. Okay, let's go to the town. It is bull day, which is snake day, but it's not snake day yet. Not until we get to the part where we start interacting with him. He'll be there every night until we start interacting with him, so. And we need to have five faith to see him. Right now, we just need to go sell this. Go grab the apples and stuff from the lighthouse. Um, what do we need to get uh, honey? Let's go ahead and open that. Super important. And the trunk and the garden bed with sticks, I'm not worried about. But this, I do want. So let's go ahead and get the compost heap open. So that all of our stuff can grow a little bit faster. As you can see, like, it shows you lines of how you have to get to things. Because we have garden beds, we can go straight to DK. We'll get the trunk and the garden bed with sticks open. But right now, it's just not a high priority. Like, we're going to open up the trees. But right now, we don't even have access to buy them. So I don't want to waste my precious points. We do need to get spiritual points to get past here. On all of these are going to take blue points too. And we definitely need to start getting points to start opening up the building stuff so we can make more machines. Actually, we could do the sawhorse. So let's open that so we can do the chopping spot. Which is going to be where we can um, do uh, billets and flitch. We're going to do this one next. And then I really want to get that, but that's faith. We're going to be working towards planks, and then we'll be jumping down to the circular saw on the build tree. That's how I, we're going to do it, so we can get some stuff opened up. Good morning, all you beautiful people! It's good to know you know how to use a sword. Creswell told me about how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Oh, awesome, because Jerry needs that. I would like to trade you this. And I really want the muffin recipe more than I want the teleport stone. That's the thing. And how much is the muffin recipe? I think it's... I don't think it's pies. I think it's... These are a lot more expensive than I remember. It's not sweet bake. Oh, it is sweet baking. I thought that said simple and tasty earlier. So you want to buy that so that you can open up... Pancakes, croissants, and muffins. Muffins are going to be huge in the beginning of the game. I mean, you can pretty much sell them all throughout the game, but they're they're pretty big in the beginning. So let's grab all the food we can grab. Grab all the honey we can grab, because we got to get that to dig so we can open up cakes. We also need to be focused. Right now, we just need points. So by doing things, we'll get more points. Um, let's go grab the honey over at the beekeeper. We still have that one energy potion.
These, it doesn't take long to get the five honey. They actually respawn pretty quickly, too. Oh, and that gave us beeswax also. Fantastic. Let's get our free flitch and stuff out of here. Metal scrap and a flitch. I like free stuff, okay? It's kind of my jam. And there should be... Another honey tree somewhere up in here, but it might be over to the left. To be fair. Should just go home and focus strongly on getting points to open up the church on the first week. Because I usually fast travel, or not fast travel, but like fast track it to get that done. We haven't talked to Cory yet though, he was inside, so. Hi, Hi I'm Cory. I'm the Graveyard Keeper. Nice to meet you. If you need some stone materials, I'll be happy to help you. For wood, you can visit my brother, Tress. They're definitely brothers. Indeed, they are. There's some more honey. Well, let's drink that energy potion. I feel like it's definitely worth it right now. Let's grab you. Head down here, and then we're going to go up above our house to get a couple more honey. And to see what it's going to cost to open up that area. I could grab these sticks and stuff on the way, but right now energy is so important that I try and not waste any. We do have some bread. Let's pull you down to there. Might get a body in a few minutes. Not actually sure. It's kind of random to me. Like, when I first recorded it, they were coming through faster than there was an update. And I feel like they've been coming through slower since the update. That might all be in my head, but it definitely does feel that way. We need to get more sticks to make that compost heap so we can get peat going. Because that'll grow the plants quicker. Until we can get the better fertilizer, which will make you get a higher yield of seeds and a potential of an upgraded seed. If you're planting copper, you can get it to go to silver and so on. Grab this one. We'll only need one more. As badly as I want to make this into muffins, they're going to dig for the cake recipe. Super important stuff. Muffins. Muffins are so great. They do better than the bread. They're almost double energy versus the bread. Oh no, I wanted this. I wanted the points from breaking these. It's just a singular red point, but every point is super important right now. Let's eat a piece of bread. Tomorrow we'll go to the great, or not to the graveyard. Tomorrow we'll go to the lighthouse and uh, get all the apples picked. Then we can turn the apples in the. Can't fix that yet because we don't have the apiary opened up, which is fine. Apples and berries into berry juice. Okay, so we need wedges, planks, and iron parts. I am actually not interested. I'm just gonna try and get through you. I don't have the energy to fight them. Or we totally would, but energy is not our friend right now. Can we get you chopped before we run into energy? Probably not. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we can't do that too. That's fine. We'll clear that in the morning. Oh, so let's put... Uh, we need ten sticks. Well, we also need fire for the... Oh, we gotta exhume that one. That's for the astrologer. Some more bread. And you can go in there. You can go in there. Make. Oh, I need more. Yep. What do we need to make the chopping spot? I know we're out of energy. Let's eat a piece of bread. Uh, sawhorse. You're gonna go up here for now. From here, after here, we'll make the chopping spot, I believe. It's just going to take some billets. So let's look under tech. Can we make it yet? No, uh, we need two more red. Uh, that's not going to be hard to do. We do have a little bit of energy left. Let's go ahead and use it all. There's one more red. Come on. 
There we go. Two more red. Firewood. Chopping spots. We can make firewood and wedges now. So let's see what we need to get that made. Oh, the chopping spot. Just five billets. Actually, uh, we'll one more piece of bread. Two of those, please. I don't think we'll have the energy to finish that. No, we're going to finish that in the morning. All that can go in there. Let's go to sleep, because we need to see the Inquisitor today. And good morning! Um, we got everything down here already. Took the stuff out of here. I'm just kind of making sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, we did miss that. Some free good parts right there. Oh, the Inquisitor! I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby, going up the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry, he'll kill me or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on this hill that will help me get home. I'll distract him in just a moment. We got some things to put away and to finish building. Okay, now we need the chopping spot. Um. Put you here for now. Like I said, once we expand, this is all going to get moved. And we just need a little bit more stone. Oh, I can't go that way. That way is blocked. I forgot to make the furnace. And then we'll go gather up some iron. So we can make our own nails and iron parts. Once we get the anvil unlocked, of course. We have unlocked Inquisitor's Joy painting. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good. Were there any problems? No, Monsignor, except there was a strange fellow snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt! Guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys. Why? He's a cultist for certain, Monsignor. Um, I am the graveyard keeper. I work at the local keep I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join me at a witch burning ceremony? I don't really have a choice. It would be my honor. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Uh, let's tell him about the real world. Actually, I'm from another world. I'm not entirely sure how I got here. I need to get back home to my love. I don't think it's an appropriate time for jokes, and I don't appreciate your general demeanor. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith and humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening at again, again at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising, I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years, and it's only the beginning. I don't like this. Burn the witch! Like, I doubt it's even a witch. Light the fire. Burn the witch! Yes, Monsignor. Long live the Great Inquisitor! Hurrah! Hurrah, hurrah! Shish goomba! So you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yeah, I think it's part of my job. And you live right beside the hill near the graveyard, that right? Yes. Interesting. You know, I need someone to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers, I don't go to church, and they even refuse to lay in their graves after death. But you're new here, you might notice something unusual. Let's agree. It'll be a pleasure to be your friend. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my trust and to be a friend of the Inquisition, you will first have to show your goodwill. So I have a couple of minor tasks for you. Kind of task. Everything in due time. Today's a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next wrath day or any other one. I like I like to come here. This is no other place where I can find feel my holy wrath so deeply. And new quest to meet him next wrath day. And welcome back. Sorry about that. Bone was going crazy again, which is driving me crazy. So we need to go see the Inquisitor next wrath day. And if we can bring 20 firewood and 10 flyers, it'll be better. I doubt we'll be able to bring the flyers, though. We'll just have to see how we do with points. Let's go grab some more honey. Check on the guard and make sure we don't have a body. Uh, also, I had to stop and make me some breakfast. Because, oh, it's like noonish, and I was starting to get super shaky. Um, do you... No, we don't have that up yet. That was in the other one I recorded. But... We could grab some sticks and get that done. We actually do need all these shrooms. We're going to need sustenance, like, 
nobody's business to keep us going. And like I said, also needed if you have the Game of Crone DLC to keep the refugee camp going. I strongly do recommend. I don't do DLCs a lot in games. Um, just sometimes I feel like it's just you should add the update with the game. But this game with the DLCs, A, they're reasonably priced. Especially when they go on like the Steam Winter Sale that's about to start. And B, it adds so much to the game that I feel it is totally worth it in this situation. Let's put you away. We'll bring Jerry his beer. Let's throw some more of you in there. Not enough to really do anything with. You know what? We'll bring 12 berries for emergency purposes. We definitely need to get some more levels or some more skill skill points. Um, we need to get firewood to sell. All sorts of things we need to do, but we just have a full energy bar and an entire day, well, half a day to get loads of stuff done. Being able to go sell the uh, firewood is going to help out a lot with leveling people up and because we need money. We need money, like, so bad. Soon we'll be loaded and money won't even be a thing we have to worry about. It'll be a problem of our past. If only it was that easy. But, soonish. We need all these points, so we're going to keep on doing the grind and working. Because each one little point totally adds up. Super helpful. And since we need so many supplies... Uh, can I do this tree? No. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to double check. And verify. Oh, we still have to take that body out for that guy, don't we? We have not done that yet. Yeah, let's do that next. Before we run out of the energies. Your did ask us to do something for him, so we should probably handle up on that. First, though, we're going to run in here and give Jerry his beer. <laughs> hey, where's my beer? It's right here. Oh, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. All right, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern and tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right. I should be more careful. So what was your question? I have some questions. How can I get home? Easy, I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you. Oh, the church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. How can I get to the library? Obviously through the church, and I think you, your wine cellar might be collected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a whole network of tunnels down here, and that's telling you that if you clear all these debris, you'll have be able to go all over the place through the underground tunnels. Net, net, I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this sorry, and I've got no hands to show you how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails. And once... You know what? I need to go. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. We will. Um, let's ask about the astrologer. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best, and he was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. They used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day. Where is the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's see, Sardin, I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. Yeah, well, I'm trying. I'm trying to understand the world that we live in, so we just need two flitch and two parts to get that done. And we can build some stuff down here. And for this, we just need two stone and four parts. Not too shabby. But right now, we need to go exhume this body for Yorick before he has a whole, like, panic attack. Freaking out about it. So let's exhume. It's actually not even a bad body. Yikes. This would be good to decorate. Now we got a minus two. Into the river you go. For some reason, I now want to watch Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Shoink. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what, now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. He's disembodied. Or else I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course, I would never do anything like that because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. How can I burn a body? You know what, you're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. What? You need a fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. 
Where can I burn it? You need a nice, quiet place, like a place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary entrance, near the cliff. Do you know where the river leads? The river is somewhere down to town, I think. Okay, so each important character who the Graveyard Keeper meets will appear in the character screen. It's going to give you your friendship level of 0 to 100. It's going to give you your current task for them. Some services require a certain level of friendship. And this is just showing you what that is. We have to meet him on Witchill on any Wrath Day. Nothing is really time stamped. Bring him an Iron Axe, bring six moths. So it's just whenever uh, you want to do that part of the quest line. Like I do suggest if you get stuck in the game... Do the quest line, because odds are your answer is going to be somewhere in there. Actually, I need to take... No, we need to assume that one and take that one out, because this is Caddy Wonka, and it drives me crazy. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of tree stumps on our way... Ugh. Or not. Or not! Let's just go sharpen our crappy tool, and we'll see what we're looking like with points. Shovel! Oh, so much energy I don't want to spend. Uh, let's see. Technologies. We have 11. And we needed this, which is 15. And then we also needed this, which is going to take 10 and 5. So let's go ahead and grab that. And then the next one we'll get is going to be the um, stone working to get the stone cutter opened up. Which, if we just keep doing the grind, that'll be no problem at all. We do need stones, and we need some iron ore. So let's grab some stones so we can get the furnace made. If we can, we should go grab another honey, too, real quick, so we can get the cake open. Uh, tomorrow is... Well, the day after today. Um, church day, and I want to have the church up to a five by then, so it's going to take some work. We might hold off on the furnace so that we can use the stone to make the better... Gravestones instead. Might also eat all of our food to ensure we can get enough stone collected to make this happen. Because this is super important. If we can get this done by week one, then it's going to give us a huge jump in the game. And right now, that would be quite fantastic. Let's grab this honey. Eat some more bread. We will then have the five honey that Dig needs. <clears throat> more bread. Take a quick nap and then we'll jump over to see the astrologer tomorrow. Once we have what he wants, we just can't forget to bring the skull. That would be silly. Let's grab this honey too. It does take a second to collect the honey, but we can get the honeybee perk and it won't be as bad. Especially once we have the apiary going. It'll be glorious. Uh, we're at 12. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We're getting there. Just stay up all night long. Getting things done. Tree stump, you must go. But we're going to go collect all the apples from the astrologer today. That's going to be super important to do. We can collect the stone right behind our house. But I'll save that for when we're trying to get in bed on time. Might as well grab these ones that are up here and out of the way. Let's bring this home. We could take a quick nap. A little siesta. Uh, could also make up some firewood to bring over there. We do need more sticks. Oh, we need all the things. Uh, so that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. And we could actually take that out. One of these can go in here along with the wheat. And those. Can we make a muffin? No, because we need more fire. Let's go ahead and make some firewood. Um, out of the billets? Sure. We'll be making firewood out of the broken gravestones that we're going to be taking from the... Uh, church too. We could... No, we can't make it up to the quarry yet. We have to unlock that first. So, fire! Let's do... I'm just gonna do all 30. Just so we don't have to worry about it for a hot minute. And then... Oh, no. We can't have... My, oh, I mean, I could grab more honey. Uh, I know there's two more honey we can grab along the way. 
So, yeah, we're going to do that. We committed. Anything else on us that doesn't need to be on us at the current time? Sticks. Oh, no, I need to grab three more, honey. Okay, well, I might have just messed that up. But that's fine, because it'll only be for one more day. And then we'll be good to go again. I didn't grab the skull. At least I didn't get all the way over there before I remembered. That would have been super unfortunate. We don't have a body, do we? Let's just double check and make sure before we head out. That would also be quite unfortunate. No, we do not. Good stuff. So we're going to head all the way over to the astrologer. How are we on money? 44. We're pretty broke. No point in you and stopping to try and buy anything. We're just that broke. Let's grab another bite of bread. We will stop and get the couple of honeys that are over here. Yeah, we might have to bring it to dig tomorrow. Because I wanted muffins! Can you blame me, though? Muffins are delicious. They're so much better for energy. Let's grab this one. If I clear this tree stump, will you grow in a honey tree? I don't actually know, but we're going to test that theory. Is it like the apple trees? And we need that honey over there. Oh, is this one we can't get? No, it's not. Uh, one more bread, please. Okay, no lollygagging. Let's get to the lighthouse. We still need one more honey, but we'll have to get that later because I don't want him to leave before we get there. That would be very unfortunate. Because the honey at the farmer we can't collect, so there's no point in trying to go get that one. But we could always bring that to him tomorrow. We're not going to be doing studying on the first faith we get. A, it won't be enough. And B, is there, isn't there a honey right up here? I remember seeing a honey right up here. Which we can look for after the lighthouse. Stay on point. No squirrelifying, Des. It's so hard down here? No, maybe there wasn't a honey this way. For some reason, I'm remembering seeing a honey, but that could be a false memory. Mr. Astrologer, don't leave. I know we're cutting it close. Hi. Are you the astrologer? I used to be. Now I'm more of a lost soul in this dead-end world. I'm the new graveyard keeper, and it seems I need your help. Know, Everyone needs something except me. Knowledge brings only sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. Your trivial needs are meaningless to me. So there's no way you can help me? Let me see. You're looking after the graveyard. Yes. Quiet. Oh, it's a glorious stroke of his beard. Bring me a skull. It's pretty legal, but who cares about that stupid Inquisitor's Law? The talking one, Jerry, he's kind of my friend. I don't think it would be appropriate. No, I just need a simple skull from any dead body. Okay, let's give him the skull. Gives us ten friendship. Not terribly clean, but every bone is in its place. It seems you have a talent for anatomy. The human body is so mysterious, perhaps even more than the sun and stars. I believe one day you'll learn much about the human body and the soul, and then you will find yourself absolutely lost. Now, as we are now partners in crime, what is it you want from me, my curious friend? I need your help. I need to open the portal. A friend told me that you might know how to activate the portal on Witch Hill. I've never heard about it. Maybe not exactly never, but at least not for many years. In another life, I had a friend. By the way, he was a graveyard keeper like you, and he was mad about this portal. It's amazing how much he knew about it. What happened to him? Oh, another stroke of the beard. He just disappeared. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. I tried to find him, but nobody knew him. I even started thinking it was just a figment of my imagination. It was a hard time for me. What's his name, Jerry? Actually, I don't know his name. We always called him by his nickname, Keeper. So what about the portal? I think he found a way to activate it. It was something magical, so I don't remember. But it should be in his diary. Just before his appearance, he gave me this key. It opens a metal gate in the northern part of the church cellar. Somewhere in there is where he kept his most important notes. Why don't you take these notes? Oh, I try, but there's a secret to this key. I tried for months to figure out how it works. Maybe it's just in my mind and the key opens nothing. Anyway, you can take it. Try to learn how the key works at the study table in the church cellar. When you have his diary, bring it to me and I'll try to find some information about the portal. So we're going to need to get Snake up. Uh, I need your help. No, we don't. 
uh, to be able to get the instructions for the key. And then once we have the instructions for the key, we can study it in the workbench. I got stuck on that one too. It's what I meant by sometimes you have to progress the storyline to be able to get past a certain part that you may or may not be stuck on. But apples! Oh, yummy, yummy apples. And shrooms and berries. There are so many goodies here. Oh, and I'm going to eat another bread because I feel it's very worth it. I didn't want the flour, but we could eat the flowers. Doesn't do much, but it might give us enough to get us through a night. We're definitely not going to stay up all night tonight, too. But we do have to focus strongly on getting the cemetery up to a five by the end of day tomorrow. That is my goal. And it is achievable. I've done it before. Just gotta really focus. How are we at on points? We're at 22. And how many did we need? Oh. Nailed it. Let's get home and start making cemetery gravestones and such. So that first thing in the morning, we can be upgrading our uh, church. Wow, words. Words are hard. Super hard. Bye, Mr. Astrologer. Thank you for your help. I appreciate you. And then tomorrow we'll bring dig some. That last honey. How much are the eggs right now? We're pretty broke, but... There are ten. We can buy three. Like I said, I'm okay with not having the teleport stone yet. It's kind of nice just walking around and visiting with everybody. It's probably a nightmare for y'all watching. But, you know, I am enjoying... The long run. Oh, mission's already on its way. No, not yet. We're not ready for you. We has a lot of work to do. And we're super, super tired, so we're gonna have to nap first. There's no way around that. We gotta see what we need for the stone cutter. Oh, I th think that needs parts that we need from the anvil. We... Ooh, I might have put myself in a whole corner not realizing it. I honestly don't remember. We might have the parts. Too many playthroughs at once when I'm trying to record this and just keep getting interrupted, so I have to start over. It's just, it's a huge mess. Okay, let's put you in there. You and you. You know what? We'll take those so we can eat those. We get desperate. Let's throw you in there and you and all the beautiful apples. We don't have pies yet, so we might as well just turn those into um, baked apples for right now. Uh, does berry juice give you more? Do we even have berry juice open? I have questions. Okay, stone cutter. What do you take, Mr. Stone? Oh, it's super easy. We got it. We got this. I'm going to put the furnace there. So let's put you, I guess, here. I hate that it's backwards. That does drive me a little crazy. But what can you do? One more bite of bread. We're going to go take a quick sleep because we do need to be started first thing in the morning on this. We probably won't even get all the way through the day. Like I'm not going to... We might let our energy... We'll see. We'll see. Because we have a lot we need to make. It's going to take a lot of energy to do. I'll probably go through all of our food today. Ah, I'm so refreshed. York, I don't have time for you right now. Good. It's much nicer without him in the graveyard. I'm still so sad, though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh, fine. I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red and good deeds are white. Even the best decorations can't make a graveyard a peaceful place when it's full of sin. I'm not sure what I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. You better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. Can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. <laughs> Our very cute, adorable, um, bipolar ghost. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets red and white skulls from its body parts, and you can change corpses, sins, or good deeds by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase your graveyard is to decorate graves with objects that have more decorative value. Each line that has both white and decorative counts as one lines that have a sin never count but you need to fill them with decoration to reach the white lines and i'll explain more of that when we're doing it it's a little confusing actually before we do that can we make berry juice yet we can 
And that only gives five energy. Or no, that takes five energy. I don't know what that gives us for energy. Yet. I don't even know if we can drink it. I've never tried. But right now, we have work to do. So we need... Let's do six of those. If we can. We actually probably should do more than that. I don't even know how many graves we have over there. To be honest, this will bring it up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's right about there, maybe. Yeah, we'll grab a couple more. Because we can always take the wooden ones and swap them out. We can't make the... Um, oh, I could, no, I don't have clay yet. We can't make the fence, the gray fence that goes around. We can make them in wood, but I don't know that I want to make them in wood. Let's grab you. Because it's expensive and it's only one extra point. It is getting super late. That should be enough to get us up to five, I hope. Like I said, I've done it before. On the last time I recorded all this, we need to close that negative two there. That's not going to help at all. It's midday, so... Okay, I need to remove this. Go, go, go! Uh, remove you. Put a new one on. Add you. Negative seven. Eat a bunch of muffins. I gotta hustle here, my dude. Add you. Negative five. Ready you. Go, go, go. And let's remove you. Add you. I write a positive one. Let's remove this one. And add that. We got this. We got this. Write a three. One more. Hurry. And add it. We're so close! Five! Run! I fixed the graveyard. I was definitely right about you. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Let's arrange your first sermon. It'll be a great honor for you to have my presence. Just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. Actually, you can just say whatever you want. You know, this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense. Get all oiled up for a nice massage. Long story short, I'll get all this stuff will help you get more faith. The more faith is power. We can now craft the prayer for faith, and we have the perk preacher. Bishop told you that you now have to arrange a church service, so there you go. Okay, let's do our first sermon. Uh, hmm. Uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> Not too bad, but my sermons are much better. You got three faith. You should really prepare for your next ceremony. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there, too. One of the keepers was engaged in scientific research. You can throw all that stuff out. We can now make the study table. We can gather old books. And we have curious minds. You go deeper, find out the essence of things. Studying an item has a chance of giving you a story. I'll spread the word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week somebody will show up. By the way, it's prior. It's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony on prayer day. I can sell you some useful accessories for it. Also, I have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. I have to get out of here. The air is so dry, my skin can't take it for long. Yeah, you, you seem a little. And he's going to leave no matter what time you do this at. You, you can't interact with him again today. You do have to wait the entire week. But we have opened this up, so let's grab you out. Um, well, you know what? We'll keep one of you and one of you and one of you to research. Um... That needs to go upstairs. You can go in here. I need, and so can that, because we need five of those faith to be able to research the speed, the speed potion. It's fantastic. I love the speed potion. Let's go ahead and clear all this out. More free goodies. We got notes, a glitch, complex iron parts, a couple ruined books. Fantastic. This is more ruined books. Okay, so we need science, which we don't have any yet, but we can get some from the preacher. I just wanted to see what this is going to cost. Oh, once we have the notes, it's only going to be two and two. Fantastic. And if we study this, we'll get four science. 
What about... Oh, you can't do the ruined books. Yeah, because we can make these. I'll get us started. And then we can... Actually, we don't have any cake, so... Oh, uh, you know what? We can study this couple of things, though, to help give us a boost. And they don't take any faith. Right now, I'm more concerned with extra... Uh, points. Chaos Solution. And I don't think I want to study anything that's going to take these. I want to save five of these for Snake. I feel like that's going to be super important. And if we could eat a cake right now, then I would definitely study a couple more things. Actually, I probably wouldn't because I normally don't. Like, I prioritize getting Snake taken care of. That is that. So you can go in there. That goes with me. Uh, you can go in there. We'll get paper from it later. That goes upstairs. Fantastic. Well, we got the church open. On episode three. Not too shabby. Um, let's go ahead and put our prayer in here. And the red flowers can go in here. Oh, those need to go downstairs now that we've opened that up. Gotta stay organized, y'all. If you let your inventory get out of control in this game, oh, it will take you hours to get it squared back away. Um, this is gonna take a beam, right? Yes. We're getting there. Closer and closer. We need to get some more pews in, but we got to open that research up, too. Let's read the mailbox. Head of the Royal Treasury Department, we are happy to congratulate you on reopening of the church and the graveyard. Also, we are pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. However, all surface land and buildings that sit no deeper than one royal leap for royal spit is dictated by, is dictated by the ancient contract belong to the royal family and the town. Through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the Royal Treasury Department. Your taxes and mail will be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe the Seventh loves you. This is where we can get our exhumation, exhumation permissions, and we can get our different, like, citizenships. Uh, what do we have on us? Just a little bit of bits and bobs. We have a little energy left. Let's grab some of you. We're doing good on points, so we'll probably spend those in just a moment. I want to get the furnicle made once we get back over there, so let's grab up this little bit of stone that's right here. Perfect! On your technologies, we have our first five blue points. Oh, it's so hard picking what to spend those first five blue points on. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I definitely think it's going to be on the cremation so that we can still get paid if we have a bad body. So let's do that. Bam! Also, we still have some more points. We could do paper crafting, because then we'll be able to do flyers. That's notes and chapter. That's a curious mind. Um, let's make sure that's what we want to do right now. Ten points for this, and it's the garden bed with sticks and the trunk. I do want a trunk down there. We could have done insects, where we could have got the moss for the farm, for the fisher, but that's not too high on my priority list. To be fair, we could get better tools. That's only twenty. But we do need the anvil, which is 40. So let's do... Oh, I gotta get the primitive wooden anvil first with nails and simple iron parts. Okay, let's grab you. And let's grab you. And then next we will grab tools. And we also need to work towards getting this right here. This is gonna be huge to get next. Yeah, that's gonna be our next priority. Let's see, can we clear another tree stump? Oh, I forgot we had a body. So we need to start getting billets going. I completely space. Well, at least we can cremate it. Should we need to? So what, you're a cleric now? It seems so. I don't remember anything after my death. Maybe there's nothing there. Or maybe I just forgot everything. Amnesia can be a useful skill. You know what I mean, my friend? I mean, yeah, kinda. I mean, I have short-term memory loss, so... To a point... Oh, this is definitely gonna be a burned body. Uh, so, I mean, it could just sit here. It's going to be burned, so it's not going to matter. So we need to make some billets. Burn, baby, burn. Just go and burn up. Oh, yeah, eight billets. I'm just making sure that I remembered that right. I don't know why I would even think I didn't. Mrs. Charm will be at the tavern today. We may or may not go see her. Um, probably if we go to turn in this. But I kind of want to focus on getting some stuff done around here. We need the wooden anvil, which is going to take billet. We also need the furnicle. Let's get you right there. Then we will make some billets. Um, actually, we will go to sleep. Um, this will get all... Oh, I should have left those at the church. Why did I not... 
That was a bit silly. Why do y'all let me do these things? I can go there. Uh, yeah. And you can go there. Let's do 20 baked apples. That will be helpful. Sleep, sleep. And a good place to say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, before I go, remember, when gaming, have fun, play hard, but in real life, be the change you wish to see in the world. Later, shall.